The southern German state of Bavaria has canceled the Oktoberfest beer festival because of the coronavirus. The event attracts more than 6 million visitors every year, and authorities feared allowing it to go ahead would lead to a spike in infections. As we report, the move is likely to take both a financial and an emotional toll. No crowded party tents, giant mugs of beer, or packed out parades. Germany's biggest festival has been canceled for the first time since World War II. Large events are currently banned in Germany until the end of August. Oktoberfest was supposed to start on September 19th, but officials say the risk of infection during the coronavirus pandemic is just too high. It is painful for us. It is a great pity. But as with many things, this is not a normal year, and this is sadly going to be a year without the festival. About six million visitors flock to the Oktoberfest every year, crowding the festival grounds, but also the host city, Munich. The cancellation of the event is not only sad news for the city, it also means big financial losses. Surveys show between 1.2 and 1.3 billion euros of lost profits in these 16 days. This affects hotels, restaurants outside the Oktoberfest, but also the cab drivers. Everyone will miss the Oktoberfest terribly. Their wallets will too. And so begins the countdown until 2021 when the next Oktoberfest will hopefully take place. Let's speak to correspondent Bastian Hartig. He's standing by for us in Munich. Hi, Bastian. Uh, the mayor of Munich has said this is an emotionally difficult moment to cancel the Oktoberfest. Why is it so emotional? Well, absolutely, it is. Um, because you have to understand that for the city of Munich and for the people who live here, the Oktoberfest is much more than just another huge party. It's got a really long tradition. It's been around for more than 200 years. And it's something that's deeply ingrained into the DNA of this city. And on top of that, it's also shaped the image of not only Munich and Bavaria, but also to a certain degree, all of Germany, really, um, all around the world. If you ask anyone anywhere of what they associate with Germany, one of the first answers that you'll always get is going to be the Oktoberfest. So it's hugely popular around the world in the city. Uh, the, the, the people here in the city of Munich, they're proud of that. They're proud of the fact that their city is home to such a famous and popular festival. And of course, now they're sad that this year, all those visitors from around the world can't can't come here and can't take, uh, play, can't take part in the Oktoberfest and that this huge festival is not going to be happening. What about the economic impact of all of this? I mean, this is a multi-million euro business, isn't it? Absolutely. Um, as we heard in the report, it's one, between 1 1.2 and 1.3 billion euros that the Oktoberfest generates every year. And that's not only for the businesses that are um, directly at the Oktoberfest, so the beer halls, the breweries, and the rides, and everything that, all, that you always see when you see the Oktoberfest. It's the whole hospitality sector, as we heard in the report. Around one million people spend the night in Munich um, during the Oktoberfest, and that's for a city that only has around one and a half million people um, a population. So you can you can already tell that that's a huge uh, factor for a lot of businesses here um, in the hospitality sector. And that, of course, is a sector that's already heavily affected by the coronavirus this year. So the cancellation of the Oktoberfest for them is just really another blow to the gut, Sumi. All right. So it's a big blow. But Bastian, given the current situation with the pandemic in Germany, also internationally, uh, does it really come as a surprise that Oktoberfest has been canceled? No, I, I don't think so. I mean, a lot of people expected this. There's really no way to go forward with this. We heard in the report, like all uh, big events in Germany are canceled until the end of August. There's other big events around the world, like the Olympics that are also canceled. So that you really can't go ahead with an event like this where there's millions of people from around the world coming together, partying together, being close to each other. You can't really social distance yourself at all during the Oktoberfest, of course, and that's not the point of the festival. Um, so then people get infected, they go home to their home countries, um, and then maybe spark more outbreaks. And the last thing that the authorities here and that the city of Munich wants to be associated with is another wave in this pandemic or be the, the, the cause for another wave in this pandemic. So they're, the only responsible decision to really make here is to cancel the Oktoberfest as hard as it is. But um, for a lot of people on Twitter, for example, they're already saying, OK, we're looking forward to the next Oktoberfest in 2021. 
All right, correspondent Bastian Hartig speaking to us from Munich. Good to talk to you. Let's take a look now at other uh, coronavirus news. Uh, several countries are starting to ease their lockdowns, including Germany. Now Italy says that before the end of this week, it will outline plans for the gradual easing of lockdown restrictions starting on the 4th of May. Uh, several U.S. states have announced reopening schedules. Georgia is aiming to restart its economy uh, by the weekend. But the World Health Organization has warned that rushing to ease restrictions will increase the risk of a resurgence of the disease. The global death toll stands at nearly 170,400, according to Johns Hopkins University in the U.S.